to Larry's Country Diner. We have got a great show for you today. All oh, sit back, relax, and enjoy it. Right now, here's a man who is a, a member of the Piggly Wiggly Bag Boy <laughs> Hall That's of right. Fame. That's right. That's right. Larry. Yeah. You know, if they don't have a Hall of Fame, they ought to. Well, I'm sure you'd be right there. Oh, man, I'd go out there in the parking lot and get them bags. Were the tips good? I'd go out in the parking lot and get them bags. <laughs> <laughs> it was Fort Lauderdale, Florida, and I was 14. Yeah? I had the job because in, in Florida at that point, you could get a driver's license and drive to and from work. Oh. I didn't have that in Tennessee. Well, um, you got to figure out how you're taking your girlfriend to work with you. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> we drove anyway, it didn't matter. Isaiah 26, 12, Lord, thou wilt obtain, obtain peace for us, for thou also hast wrought all our works in us. John 8, 12, whosoever follows me will never walk in darkness. Oh, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. But will have the light of life. That's our promise, mm. says for today. We are delighted to have with us brotherly love. Yeah. Well, that's not really their name. Actually, they don't have a name. You guys got to have a name. Well, we're just kind of flying by the seat of our pants right now. How about now. bro love? Bro, bro love. love. Hey, hey. But uh, Ben, when Ben got this brainstorm a few years back to have us all together, uh, you know, we got together and we... we heard the blend that we had and and it was so special not only the blend as in music but our blend in in personalities and the way we feel about life and the way we mm -hmm. the way we feel about god and and our country and 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 people and so it, it 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 was truly brotherly love so we we haven't come up with anything any better than that and if our world ever needed uh, brotherly oh love Boys. we sure need it you got it today and so ben uh, ben's responsible oh, for all this so. well from now on your brotherly <laughs> love okay right <laughs> How about a song out of Brotherly Love just to get us going? All right. This one features Mike Rogers. Okay. A one, a two, a one. Well, I was ruling the roost. Had all the chits to myself. Suddenly it happened, a funny little feeling I felt. What was it, Mike? Well, I tried to outrun it, but it finally caught up with me. Not fast enough, was you son? Tell me, how can I run from something that I can't see? Oh, that little bitty teeny weeny thing they call the love bug. Nobody's ever seen it, but it's got the whole world shook up. It all started with a little bitty kiss and a hug. Just a little bitty, teeny weeny thing they call the love bug. Style. But I lost that race by a good old country mile. Yeah, I was walking all around with my head held away up high. Then it fooled me, hit me, really took me by surprise. Oh, that little bitty teeny weeny thing they call the love bug. Nobody's ever seen it, but it's got the whole world shook up. It all started with a little bitty kiss and a hug. Just a little bitty teeny weeny thing they call the love bug. Teeny weeny thing 
they call the love bug. Nobody's ever seen it, but it's got the whole world shook up. It all started with a little bitty kiss and a hug. Just a little bitty teeny weeny thing they call the love bug. It all started with a little bitty kiss and a hug. Just a little bitty teeny weeny thing they call the love bug. Yeah! yeah. Woo! Yeah. Right. yeah! Yeah! All right, tell me who the Dobro player is. Josh Swift. Josh Swift? Yeah. That's it. Yep. He's incredible. Yes, he Taylor's is. brother. Well, could be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tell, him, tell him a little bit about Josh's background there. Well, Josh is, uh, he was with a, a, a bluegrass band that we all love, Doyle Lawson and Quick yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. 13 years? 13 years, and uh, now, uh, since the, the, the COVID yep. hit, we, the Isaacs hired Josh to play with us uh, January, and uh, we've done about three shows together. So. <laughs> He's rolling it was in a love bug. Bug. I think it was a Just love bug, wasn't it? Death, aren't you? I was watching him when he was playing, and as he got to a certain point, it was like he's doing all this stuff down here, and he's going, yeah. And I'm going, how in this world is he seeing anything to do there? That's super. That's just how good he is. He's, 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 great. he's a great, great musician. Great musician, a great guy, too. And your bass singer... Oh, uh, doesn't well, look like a bass singer. He doesn't, but man, let me tell you, I have recorded some of the best bass singers in the whole wide world, and I've told everybody this. His tone when he yep. sings bass is as clean and as sweet as anybody yes. I've ever recorded. He's one of my favorite singers all around anyway, but Bradley Walker. Yes, Bradley sir. Walker. Thank y'all. Thank you, Ben. Of course, the guy, the guy talking is Ben Isaacs. <laughs> Ben's been doing a lot of stuff. A lot of producing lately. I stay busy. I'm very blessed. I love it. I have uh, this. This project is a dream come true for me. Um, you know, I tell people all the time that I've made a living singing with women. I wanted to see what it felt like to <laughs> sing with men. And, uh, I think Gaither's getting jealous. I think Gaither's yeah. getting jealous. Bill, Bill told me he said, "Now, Ben," he said, "It'll get on you." <laughs> <laughs> and. Uh, and I, I agree, you know, I mean, I love, I love singing with my family, but yeah. this is completely different for me, and I love being stretched, and it's just fun. I've really enjoyed it. And Next. you got the man over here. Mike Rogers. Howdy. Hi, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Mikey's probably uh, one of the best uh, all-around um, musical uh, songwriters, and, and he can play anything and sing anything, and... and uh, we don't like him. We don't like him. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's so good. Yeah. Just thank God he doesn't play upright bass. Yeah. Uh, no, but Mike is a, a really talented. And, and, you know, the thing we talk about, uh, brotherly love, but we really all four absolutely love each other. And we have great. the best relationship. You know, 90% of, of, of performing together doesn't happen on stage. It doesn't happen yeah. on stage. It happens in, in hanging out. And we, we have the best time just just laughing and making fun of Jimmy and, <laughs> and then me. And it's just, it's, it's, it's playing fun. poker, yeah. playing poker. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now is Mike out of the bluegrass background? Well, I was with Dole Lawson and Quicksilver for a little while, Okay, but I've been with Craig Morgan for the last however long. I'm sorry. It's about 02. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. That's good. Then, you know. I've known Mikey for a while. I got to say, uh, I, when I first came to Nashville 16 years ago, when I moved here, uh, met Mike not long after that, and the first time I met him, just like, just really was like we're brothers, and discovered the talent that this man has. Um, it's been unbelievable, and the fact that we're all, I'm set, I, I, of course, with the Statler Brothers for 21 years, yep. some, one of the greatest groups of all time, and now I talk about God things in my life. Uh, everything led to this moment of being with these guys right here, and and. And we're here together, and, and this is a big, big God thing. Uh, these, are, these are my mm -hmm. brothers. I, I love them just like I did that Harold, Don, and, and Phil, uh, my brothers with the Statlers as well. Wow. Well, it is a joy to have you guys here on the diner. you got a big family, don't you, Jim? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes. It is great. We're going to take a quick break. Larry's Country Diner, Nadine's on the way. Yeah. 
Yes, 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 we are and back. And welcome back. back to Larry's Country Diner. I'll warn you guys, Nadine's on the way. Oh, I love her. Oh, Larry. Can't wait. Yeah, Lord can't help wait. us. Oh. Lord help us. There she is. Give me, give me that look you give when you stumble through that door. Huh? Give me that look you give when you stumble through that door. I yeah. don't know what look I give. Like you just came from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> that's, wide eye. that's the look. <laughs> that's awful. What's going on? Oh, it's good to see you guys here. Hey, Hi, Nadine. Hey, darling. Y'all are so good. I love y'all. Oh, we love you too, Nadine. Y'all got together, man. I tell you what, that was fun. That was fun watching y'all do all that that night. They were good. Good, good. What is that? Is that your... Could you turn your phone off, Larry? <laughs> oh, no. Well, it wasn't supposed to be on. Oh. Oh, there's motion in our front yard up in Montana. Uh oh. Oh. Let's see. Oh. It's a bear. Y'all just go ahead. We're yeah. going to look here. <laughs> He's good. Well, we want to see. Yeah. <laughs> we want to see. We want to see. Well, y'all, I need some help. You do? What do you need? I'm, I'm getting ready to fill out my mail-in ballots. And I didn't. I, I need to know, do I put all seven in one or do I do them individually? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes. Yep. It's one of those days. <laughs> <laughs> I knew y'all were the right crowd to do this. <laughs> I tell you, though, I heard a politician describing herself as the backbone of Congress. And I thought, mm, I don't know if I'd go that high. <laughs> <laughs> Congress has no backbone. What are you doing? But you know... <laughs> You know, I heard that in Africa, I was reading this other night, that in Africa, a man cannot run for office unless he has shot a rhino. Now, well, I thought they were extinct or something, but I, I don't know. I, maybe, you know, this might have been the media telling me this. I don't know. But um, anyway, I decided that here, I guess, all they have to know how to do is shoot the bull, right? That's right. <laughs> That's it. Uh, yeah. The rhino wow. bull. Yeah. That was good. She's so good. <laughs> but you know, Who said that? I did. She's so cute? She's, no, I said she's so good, but she oh. is cute. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Ben. Thank you, Ben. You know, I feel sorry, though. You can't help but feel sorry for the losers in a national election. You know, I mean, it's like suddenly they've just become like the banjo part of Beethoven's fifth. <laughs> She's a musicologist, too. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah. Well, I thought she was going to say accordion, oh, yeah. but she said banjo. <laughs> <laughs> Me and Homer saw a septic cleaning tank going by the other day, and it had on there said, maybe carrying political promises. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's good. You ought to run for something. You'd make I'm your telling you. Oh, I know. Too. You know, when they call the roll in Congress, those people don't know whether to say present or not guilty. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. <laughs> I know people that don't bet on football games anymore. They're just betting on people to see if they're going to get indicted or not. Mm -hmm. I, told, I told another friend of mine the other day, we were talking about elections, and I said, well, last election I had to go down there early and cancel out my kids' vote. You know, they, <laughs> <laughs> she said, I know. She said, you know, it don't matter how old they are, you still got to clean up after them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Well, it is. laughs> Don't y'all send any letters to Larry now. I want y'all, just be like those faint goats. Just tip over <laughs> and let us go about our business. You're full of it today. Yeah, she's on a roll today. Well, I screwed up that last one so bad, I thought I better come out here. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go put the sign up. Yep, what's the sign gonna say? So faith isn't a feeling. It's a choice to trust God even when the road ahead seems uncertain. And boy, does it seem uncertain. Yeah. So it does. We need to do be praying, enough, really. Do you, do you have enough alphabetical letters to get all that on that sign? Oh, yeah, I got plenty. <laughs> <laughs> but don't I use a magic marker? Oh, there you go. <laughs> Nadine, thank you. Oh, Nadine. <laughs> Let's get another song out of Bro Love. All right. <laughs> <laughs>
you know, we're going to try to do you a song now that uh, I love singing. And when we, when we made the video uh, for this, Rory Feek made a really good point uh, about this song. It's the song The Lighthouse, yep. you know, and how that we all, the song talks about how Jesus is the lighthouse, and we all know that. Rory made a really good uh, point to say that we all have the same opportunity to be a lighthouse to other people. Yep. in our life you know anybody that we come in contact with we can we can be that lighthouse for for folks yep. and i just thought that was really really cool you know and a really good thought because it's so true oh absolutely kenny henson was just a, one of the most incredible gospel singers uh, of all time i've always loved the henson's music and i'm thrilled to get to record this with these guys so i'm going to try to sing this one for you this is the lighthouse good There's a lighthouse on a hillside that overlooks life's sea. And when I'm tossed, oh, it sends out light, the light that I might see, and the light that shines in darkness now. Safely lead me on if it wasn't for the lighthouse, my ship would sail no more. Now, everybody that lives around us. They all see going and tear that old lighthouse down. We all know the big ships, they don't sail by this way anymore. There really ain't no use in that old thing standing around. But then my mind goes back to that old stormy night when just in time I saw the light. The light from that old lighthouse that still stands up there on the hill. And I thank God for the lighthouse. I owe my life to Him. For Jesus is the lighthouse. He has shown his light 
Hallelujah. Remind me of a story. A ship's captain sees a light and he says, this is naval destroyer. Alter your course to the right. The voice comes back. This is Private Smith. Alter your course to the left. The guy comes back and says, no, this, you don't understand. This is the admiral of the, of the warship. You alter your course now. Private said, sir, this is Private Smith. I'm the lighthouse. <laughs> <laughs> you alter your course. <laughs> I want to, I want to say an important fact on that song. You know, Jimmy Capps played on the original single that's of right. that song. Yeah. Jimmy oh, Capps that's right. played on that on the very first. Yeah. Mm. Really? So, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Jimmy. Mm. Yeah. Well, we miss him. We sure do miss him. I remember we were in the studio working on this project, and I think because Jimmy's son, Mark, uh, engineered our record, and I think he, he got to looking uh, back at some records and told us that he found that out, that uh, that he played on that original. Wow. Mm. See, Michelle? Jimmy lives on. Yeah. Absolutely. And welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. Just checking the menu here today. Special? Well, we've got our own brotherly love food combo. Mashed potatoes, corn on the cob, green beans, fried okra, meat of your choice. Or as a vegetable plate, it'll put your body in perfect harmony. Woo. Yeah, that good. <laughs> There's Larry. <laughs> We've got him. You guys going to do another song for us? Absolutely, yeah. Jimmy. Absolutely. We want to do this song. Um, we were putting this project together. Of course, uh, we were talking about the Statler Brothers. And um, this song, it kind of captivates what the Statler Brothers were all about. Um, they, were, they were about God, uh, family, and country. Uh, they were nostalgic, they were historic, there were so many things, and I got to be with them for 21, almost 21 years. And we lost Harold not too long ago. Yeah. Uh, he passed away. And uh, we miss him very much. Uh, but uh, I was talking to, uh, talking to him on WSM this morning, I told him a little story that kind of in, in encapsulated Harold's personality. After we would finish up a show, uh, just about every night on, on the bus, we'd get back on the bus. They like to watch movies. And so Harold was the first one to uh, get ready and pick out a movie. And he would get ready, and he'd have his popcorn, and he'd be sitting there with nothing but his BVDs on and his boots. <laughs> so if you could picture that, yeah. and he said, y'all boys, come on, man. I got the movie ready to go. So, you know, we, every time I think about Harold, I think about that. But uh, we wanted to do this song in particular, Class of 57, this kind of... The amazing thing about this song is that every person in this song, Harold and Don wrote this song, every person in this song was actually did what they said they did. And it's, wow. every, it's a real person in, every, every, in the whole thing. Incredible. So here we go. One, two, three. Tommy's selling used cars. Nancy's fixing hair. Harvey runs a grocery store and Margaret doesn't care. Jerry drives a truck for Sears and Charlotte's on the make. And Paul sells life insurance and part-time real estate. Helen is a hostess. Frank works at the mill. Jenny teaches grade school and probably always will. Bob works for the city. Jackson Lab Research and Peggy plays organ at the Presbyterian Church. And the class of 57 had his dreams. We all thought we'd change the world with our great words and deeds. Or maybe we just thought the world would change to fit our needs. The class of 57 had his dreams. Betty runs a trailer park, Jan sells Tupperware, Randy's on an insane ward and Mary's on welfare. 
Charlie took a job with Ford. Joe took Freddie's wife. Charlotte took a millionaire, and Freddie took his life. John is big in cattle, raised deep in debt. Where Mavis finally wound up is anybody's bet. Brenda married Sonny, Linda married me, and the class of all of us is just a part of history. And the class of 57 had his dreams, but living life day to day is never like it seems. Things get complicated when you get past 18. But the class of 57 had his dreams Oh, the class of 57 had his dreams Yeah! Get us out of here for a moment. That's a tight rope without a net. We'll come back to Chicken Man in a moment. Yeah, Chicken Man's coming up. Larry Scafford Diner, stay with us. Welcome back to Larry's Country Diner. You Let's get another song. <laughs> Please. All right. <laughs> While they All right. Me. We're going to do this song. I love this song because um, Vince Gill wrote it, and he's one of my all-time favorite singers, songwriters, anything, musician, whatever. And also, I really like it because Mikey here has to sing tenor way <laughs> over top of me. I love it. I love to see him get up there and just... But if anybody can do fall. it, Mike Rogers That's does. That's right. Didn't want to fall from that height, but... Uh, Anyway, this is one of the, I think, one of the greatest songs ever written, and I love my buddy Vince for writing it. Uh, I want to dedicate this to, to our friend Jimmy Caps. And uh, so here we go, boys. Love for the Father 
Jimmy Caps. Good stuff. Do they have a website? That's what I was asking. No, they don't. Well done. We're afraid. I mean, <laughs> you, can, uh, you can go to Jimmy's website and products available there, the Isaacs or Bradley Walker, I mean, any of that. Gaither, Gaither, Gaither. Gaither. Uh, um, uh, and it's if Larry's a, it's a, nice to me, I'll sell him a batch of them. <laughs> <laughs> and, in, and in Cracker Barrel as well. Yes, yeah, right. Cracker Barrel. Oh, Larry, Larry thank precious, you for having me. What's that? Precious. Yes. Well, thank you. Get thank out of you. my way. I'm looking oh, at sorry. Cracker. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you thank for you having for being us, here. brother. Thank you, Josh. We're, we're, awesome. so, we're so honored to be here. Thank you all, Larry, for having us. Last time I saw you was in beautiful Montana. It's your oh, beautiful place yeah. out there. Mm. And uh, y'all were so kind to us, and we appreciate well, that so much. This is this um, is a family. You know, this the Larry's Country Diner thing is yep. a family, and we're, we're yeah. honored anytime we can be with y'all. So thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Appreciate it very much. Better get us out of here. Woo, I don't think I had stand two hours of this one. I, <laughs> hey, thank you for joining us. Larry's Country Diner, where the cameras are always rolling, and we, we don't, don't care. care. We really don't.